with G H G C 107. Ball and your name Melvin. Bet on me. Let's go. Bet on me. I'm going over top with this. Bet on me. Bet. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Melvin Taylor, a.k.a. Melvin Taylor. I, I back with another reaction video, and you know, you know, you know I had to come back because Black Adam, the official trailer number two. We about to get some more of the story. Y'all know The Rock is my guy. I'm so excited. I'm so hyped. I'm getting more and more hype every day we get to it. Finally, The Rock has come back with another trailer. Man, I'm so happy. I'm so very happy, man. I'm excited because I don't know a lot about Black Adam. Hell, I don't know a lot about Shazam, right? But I am a fan of competition. And what I mean by that is I need DC to get it together so that way they can compete with Marvel some more. And um, we get some great superhero cinematic moments out of all of this, man. We know the trials and tribulations DC been through. But um, I think that with The Rock now being a part of DC... And if Black Adam takes off the way in which I deep down hope that it will, right? I think that if it's able to, we're going to get a Hawkman movie. We're going to get, uh, uh, let's say, Pierce Brosnan, a Doctor Fate movie. We might get, uh, we, you know, everybody might get a movie or a TV show, whichever one, right? And I think that that will be awesome because it helps to branch out everything else around the main characters. Now I get... Oh, we're going to get into this for a little bit. So if you looking for the trailer, you might want to skip ahead some. Please don't. Just watch this whole thing because I, I, I really want to talk about this. Um, <laughs> the main thing with the with the whole DC Universe, right? We know that they got to restart. We know that they're looking for a new head um, to, to run everything. And my main thing is this. They keep trying to find a Kevin Feige. You're never going to find another Kevin Feige, right? What you need to do is find someone that understands stories, find someone that understands how to make movies, right? Two different people. Find two different people. One that understands the DC universe, period. Somebody else that understands how to make a great movie or a great franchise, period. Two people to run it. And if you want to put people underneath them to help so that way you have more people growing from this entire experience, okay, great. But I don't think you should try and find another Kevin Feige. The best thing that you can do in that situation is go and buy Kevin Feige away from Marvel, which you don't have the money to be able to do right now. You're going to put yourself in even more debt. Now, Kevin going to help you dig out of that, but you're going to put yourself in way more debt than what you need to. Right? Take somebody from the animated universe, which has a treasure trove of stories. That's one head. And then you have somebody else that just makes really good movies. And that's another head. And now you have a duo that can shake shit up the way in which you need it to be done. That's my interpretation of what needs to happen, right? And right now, I think that with Black Adam, again, if Black Adam is as successful as it should be, right? You get the whole Black Adam corner of the universe. Not saying Black Adam's going to be the new DCEU, but the corner, right? So now you have a pillar in which you can build upon. You have something structured here in Black Adam, and now you can build Hawkman. Dr. Fate and everybody else that you want to do from there. You can get TV shows and whatnot, right? Now, if they are going to exist in a larger DCEU, you can then go to that as you get your plan together and they can start hearing whispers about some of the other superheroes that you can thread in. If not, now you have your own connected universe over here that can go on until you get things together with your main Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Green Lantern, John Stewart, Green Lantern, Flash that's not out here messing up the timeline for everybody, right? And, and until you get all that together, you can have this going. That's how I feel about it. With that being said, last thing before we hop into this trailer, some of y'all need to stop hating. Like, I've read so many comments on people just hating on The Rock because, oh, he don't have the pointy ears. He don't have the hair. If y'all did y'all research, you would see that they tried both of those. And they said it didn't look right, so they went without it, right? But he's not staying true to the comment. He keeps saying he wants to fight Superman and not fight Shazam. Again, if you read and paid attention, right? What does he know about Black Adam or Shazam? Blah, blah, blah. He originally posted... A poll. He asked his fans years ago, 
Yo, should I be Shazam or should I be Black Adam? Everybody overwhelmingly said, be Black Adam, right? Because that story fits the arc in which he was going with in his career anyway, right? We don't want a little kid playing uh, Billy and then The Rock playing Shazam and have to share and team up the whole movie. No, you want to see Black Adam destroy stuff. So that's who he should play, number one. Number two, this man has, has transformed into movie Viagra right he helps to revive everything that he's a part of at this point in his career why would you not want that within your universe just give it a damn shot stop trying to hate everything that's why you don't have much already you coming in with such a pessimistic attitude there's a lot of fans out there that i'm just like bro y'all are just killing the whole vibe come on now y'all supposed to be on the same team everything that you wanted within the Zack snyder universe unfortunately it's not gonna happen anymore. So now that needs, you need to move on with things. If you wanna follow Zack Snyder and Rebel Moon, which I will, I think it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna definitely do that. I'm a, I might still go back and watch some of the different sequences that we get in the Zack Snyder Unfinished Justice League movie, right? Because I loved it. I thought it was great, much better than the regular one. Now, was it still a long cut of a movie that was unfinished? Yes, but it was still very good. Unfortunately, we're not going back to that. And even if we use those characters, that does not mean we're gonna have the same storyline that he would have had. That means we can still have a new, fresh storyline. I got way more DC um, theories and 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 just, 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 just directions that I wanna give and what they should do, but I could be here all day talking about that. If that's something that y'all want, let me know down below. But right now, I wanna get to this Black Adam trailer because man, y'all know I'm a big fan of The Rock, like I said. I'm super hyped for this and um, I can't wait. I can't wait. I need to figure out where to get that Black Adam training stuff that Dwayne got on. So bruh man, just let me know what's good, all right? Without further ado, let's hop into this trailer because it's already been seven damn minutes. Black Adam, official trailer number two. We about to get all the stories, so if you don't want to spoil it for you, get the hell up out of here. Are y'all ready? Because your boy is. Let's do it. Oh, man, it didn't do it. Okay, now, let's do it. My son sacrificed his life to save me. His powers are not a gift, but a curse. Out of rage. I gotta bring up that Superman point again, but I'll get back to that at the end of this. Because I completely forgot. I'm about to know. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! This loose cannon needs to be locked down before innocent people start getting hurt. It's been asleep for 5,000 years. Us to sell that can hold. We'll take care of the rest. Look on the team. Oh, wait, what? Come on, Aldis. We, bring a passport. we don't need passports. Aldis with Viola? We're the Justice Society. Yeah. <laughs> We're here to negotiate your peaceful surrender. Heard about it. I'm not peaceful. Surrender. Here we go. I kneel before no one. You didn't come here to seek justice. You came to exact revenge. I never said I was a hero. Fate does not make mistakes. You're a team. Ooh, this thing will be fired. You can be the destroyer of this world. That was Sabak right there, okay? Or you can be its savior. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, now it's on DC Infinite? 
I've, I've been paying for DC Universe Infinite because I love to read comics in my spare time. But to also, like, get some of this and now it's there. Great. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Oh, man, I'm hype. I'm hype. Okay. We're probably going to watch that again. First things first. Um, What, what was I going to say about Superman? What was I going to say about Superman? The reason why The Rock wants to fight Superman. Y'all have all watched wrestling. You go after the top dog. Again, Shazam and Black Adam used to have a movie together that was the first iteration, but to tell their complete stories in a way where you could build a universe, you separate it, which is what they did, and it's working out now because this trailer is amazing, and I can't wait for this movie. Now, anyway, getting back to this. Woo! Amanda Waller called the Justice Society to put down Black Adam. Also, I gotta look. Yo, shout out to my big bro, Aldous Hodge. Bruh. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. It came a long way from Hardison on leverage. Now this man is Hawkman, right? And he, yo, didn't the, the crib kind of look like uh, uh, <laughs> Charles Xavier's, um, yo, Charles Xavier's mansion, which is crazy, where all the X-Men is. But um, this is so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Already formulating plot. We saw the villain who's going to be Sabacc, but we get to see more of the fight with Black Adam in the Justice League, uh, excuse me, Justice Society. And I also think that the, the woman and her son is going to be there. Obviously, we can see the parallels between them and Black Adam's family that he did not get to save. But he's probably going to realize, oh my goodness, I get to save all these people that are around me and I'm going to stop being an asshole and help out the Justice Society. Maybe I'm not going to be on their side, but we'll see what's up. But I like the action that The Rock is doing in here. Taking no mercy. Just straight up, hey, yo, uh, oh, you flying at me? Done. Done. Oh, you behind this brick wall? Electrocuted. Over with. Oh, your magic is weak. Get up out of here. About to kill all y'all. I like it. I like it. I like it. And for those of y'all that's looking for more of that dark, gritty storytelling that you are getting within the Zack Snyder universe, you got it right here. Come on, y'all. Y'all, look. We knew it was good. We know it was good. So you know what we're going to do right here? We're going to go ahead and watch this trailer again. If you want to leave, you're more than welcome to. But I know you don't want to because you want to watch this one more time. So we're going to stop it, pause it, talk about it. Let's go. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Mm. His powers are not a gift, but a curse. Born out of rage. Born. Oh, and for all y'all that was like, yo, the rock not speaking the language. Mmm, you mad, ain't you? Rock ain't speaking Egyptian, or what they were speaking, Kanda. House look cold. Come on, Hulk, man. All them reincarnations worked out. This cannon needs to be locked down. Before innocent people start getting hurt. And this character lines up so well with who Aldous Hodge plays on City on the Hill in DeCourcy Ward. Oh, you about to kill this. It's been a breakout party. Five thousand years. You find us a cell that can hold We'll take care of the rest. Who's on the team? I didn't bring a passport. We don't need passports. We're the Justice Society. Bro, the, the fact that it's, I love that Hawkman's character, at least the way it's being portrayed right now, is almost the same way in which, rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman, what we would have gotten with the full layout of the technology that Wakanda and Black Panther was going to use within the MCU, right? Just hear what I'm saying. Tony Stark is gone in the MCU. So you can't keep going to Stark Industries if he ain't there to make it. Wakanda has an entire nation. You got sure you have other scientists that can help. Now you're going to have Ironheart, Riri Williams, right? That can help to make things for the Avengers eventually, right? So the Avengers will always have a technological advantage because you have Wakanda. I think that with the technology that Hawkman is going to have here, you're going to be able to do the same thing eventually. He may even have outfitted some of the members of the JSA or at least... I got the plane, I got the boat, I got what, whatever spaceship, you, everything you need. I got it. I love that. I ain't even said much about Pierce Brosnan, and I know he's going to do an amazing job. On top of the fact that he said, I want to keep playing this character, 
with him having the helmet on, get him a stuntman in there to do everything crazy, and Pierce can just be as smooth and suave as he always been. Yeah. We're here to negotiate your peaceful surrender. I'm not peaceful. Nor do I surrender. Here we go. I kneel before no one. I feel like that's him talking to Sabah at that to point. Justice. He came to exact revenge. Hey, no will. You believe you are not worthy, but fate does not make mistakes. You can't show me that look that little kid is running around. I know he ain't little kid, he like a teenager. He been almost a grown man. That he running around with the star on his shirt that the rock is not gonna see the symbol. Excuse me, Black Adam is not gonna see the symbolism with his own kid and be like, oh my goodness, my son would have been like y'all get what I'm saying. You can be the destroyer of this world. Ooh. Or you can be its savior. Alright y'all, that's all I got for today. I'm probably gonna see this movie in IMAX. I uh, yes, yes, I am that excited for it. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please remember to make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe, check out the links in the description down below to let me know how you wow, no. Put comments down below to let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you agree with anything I said, disagree with anything that I said, or just have opinions that you want to get off about DC versus the MCU, DC and their search for a new leader. What you think this Black Adam corner section of the DC Cinematic Universe can bring. Um, and yeah, just check out the links and everything else that I got down there. Because, you know, your boy got his own movie that's now playing on BET Her on a nightly basis. That's playing on BET.com and is playing on, D oh, excuse me, that's playing on BET+. Plus. Make sure to check that out. It's called The Fruit of Bears. I would greatly appreciate it. With that being said. I need The Rock to drop the Black Adam training gear because I need to buy me one of those. All right? Stay blessed. Stay favored. Always stay tailored. If you got a dream, see it through it. I'm going to see you next time on this channel. Peace and love.